you look at where we are operating from in the first place, there are so many things happening. But your easy, easiest way and best way to get to secure our staff is to ensure that uh, we get enough of information and get it on time. So the first thing I do is to establish a very open, loud and large network through which I, I get information on very quickly and know of it very quickly. Once a place is not too safe for our staff, we don't encourage them to go there. I don't encourage it. Any trip to such areas at that time is not approved until when the information assures us that things are back to normal. When we talk about the environment in this aspect, well, what exactly are we talking about? We are, we are talking about things like land, the sea, the resources. And the interesting thing about this thing is none of them is, is controlled by man. Man does not control any. So how do, are you going to manage this now? So what PIN does is you give, we give you directives and give you um, control limits of what you, you can do with the land or where. So that is the instructions which we pass on to those going for activities in the field and they work within the limits of these things so as not to tamper with nature as much as possible. The lives of our staffs are the most important thing to us in PIN. We will not risk any staff for any assignment once it's not safe. So a lot of trips are done after carefully analyzing their, their routes, which they are going to, and the areas they are going to. Once there is an obstacle or something is not comfortably right, we don't allow such trips. We don't allow them function. In other places where the health of our staffs are concerned, for example, when the last epidemic, the COVID-19 came, there was no hesitation to close down the office. There was no hesitation to do whatever it takes to sanitize and bring back a, a very good atmosphere for the staff to work in. And where it was not going to be immediately impossible, PIN will advise the staff to work from home. It shows how important the staff are. And I think we will continue doing that. PIN will always manage her the her grounds around her EDCs and um, it's just a matter of knowing what to do because the issue of environment takes everything into, into context including the air, the land and the sea that man does not have command. So man has a control over his own items. Example is the human waste. Human waste here talks about everything. Let us look at the gas emissions, but in our, our EDCs, it takes more after things like our ni nylon plastic bags, our plastic buckets. These are things that have to be controlled, and we do everything we can to make sure that they are not let out in, at the EDCs at all times or at any time. As we wrap up now, I would like this opportunity to invite you to join us in the celebration of our 10th anniversary. This is just the beginning. We, we, we will achieve more. And share this information with your friends, your family, in fact with everybody in your circle. 